Great. So happy Saturday, everybody. Today, um, we have the, uh, our practice is going to be focused on the first chakra, the Muladhara chakra, which is the theme of the month this month. Um, some of these classes, not all of these classes, but some of these classes are going to be recorded and put on YouTube. So you can refer back to them, um, especially if this is an exploration that resonates for you. Um, so one thing about this, you know, I feel like you can't really talk about the chakras without talking about other aspects of yoga and stuff like that. And one of the aspects of this particular chakra is that it is what they call a tamasic chakra, meaning that it's a slower moving vibration. The, the, the chakra itself is, um, because it's so grounded, right? It's slower moving. Um, so if you think about a snail, for example, right? Or even an, a worm, things that grow, that live close to the ground, they don't move very fast. They're not gazelles, <laughs> you know? They move very slowly. So that doesn't mean we're gonna be moving that slowly in practice today, but I do want to uh, just throw it out there that this, that the root chakra is a slower moving chakra. When we get into the uh, solar plexus, we're definitely gonna be like going a little harder at things. <laughs> But for now, we're gonna be focused a little more on this groundedness. Now, um, please feel free to start lying down or sitting up. Uh, I would suggest sitting up and because it's a Saturday morning class, uh, probably you're all sitting up. Close your eyes or let your gaze soften down and bring your palms to your thighs with the palms facing down. So when you have your palms facing down, that's already sort of setting a tone for getting uh, grounded, right? Check in with the shoulders, notice sounds, movements, vibrations that are going on around you. So um, it's all part of the experience, nothing that you have to push away from. And start to make a very small rocking movement from side to side. So we've been talking all month so far about uh, finding your tail, right? Um, and I don't want to overemphasize this because um, I know it probably feels a little bit weird to think of us having tails, but we did at one point, uh, evolutionarily speaking, have tails. And for some of us, our tail still does tilt a little bit out, but for most of us, it's a, it's a fused triangular bone, which by the way, is one of the symbols of this chakra. It's about four or five fused bones that are tucked in between your sitting bones. So we talk a lot about the sitting bones in yoga. And if you rock far from side to side, you can definitely find those two sitting bones. But what I really want you to focus on is that space in between those two sitting bones. So make your rocking movement just a little smaller. And it may feel kind of like there's an empty space between the two and that's okay because after a little bit, I want you to start to rock a bit forward and back, emphasizing walking back. Because I think as you start to rock back, I feel, and I hope you sort of, even if you don't feel it, you might imagine it, this sensation, of, oh, there's that little tail. There's that fused bone that, that's in between those two um, sitting bones. And you may or may not feel it, but maybe, if you don't actually physically sense it, you might imagine it, right? So do that a few times. And as you do that a few times, a couple of things to think about, Visual, visualizing your lower body being surrounded by a dark red earthy mist, okay? So for some of us, that dark red earthy mist, that's something that's very easy to visualize. And if you've been practicing with me um, these last 16 days of this month, uh, you may have become more comfortable or more um, practiced at thinking of this uh, dark red earthy mist. Uh, I know visualization isn't something that works that well for me, but the more I practice it, the more it sort of begins to resonate. 
Uh, another thing to think about is the lotus flower, right? And when the lotus flower is floating on the surface of the water, it's this beautiful lily pad with beautiful, gorgeous uh, flowers. In this particular case, the, the lotus for this chakra is a four-pointed lotus. But for me, more importantly, is to think about that um, underneath that lotus is a very thick, like really thick root that goes all the way down to the water's bottom. And that's where it's grounded and that's where that beautiful flower comes up from. So if that's something that resonates, this, this groundedness, this rootedness, which from which you beautiful flower lift up, right? Now, those, all of you know me fairly well, and I would consider myself to be a naturally very grounded person. Uh, once again, sort of thinking of yoga, um, the Ayurvedic constitutions, I have more of a kapha dominant personality. Like I, I don't really like to fly. I don't really like to be on a, a bicycle. I like to have my feet on the ground. I tend to be a little bit slower. Like I need a little bit of sugar in the morning in my coffee and my tea to get me kind of fired up a bit, right? So this is not, this is like my home base for me. But for some of you, you may be more what we call pitta, which is in the solar plexus, a little more fiery, a little more um, like a can-do type person, right? You don't like to necessarily be grounded 